folks and welcome to your Disney homegirl. I am Corliss and it's been so long since I've been able to sit here and give some Disney planning tips but I'm glad to be back and I'm excited to share that we have a Disney trip in store for us in February. So we will be going back to Walt Disney World for Prince's Marathon weekend of 2021. We cannot wait. I cannot explain to you or share with you or you can't feel these excitement that I have deep down in my soul about being able to be back at Walt Disney World. Of course, with everything that's happened, I halted recording videos. I actually haven't recorded a video in a very long time. But um, I knew that it was important that I kind of stop and reflect on everything that's been going on and just not rush through things and try to feel as though I'm forcing people to take a trip to Disney when that may not be a great thing. But I am here for everybody who has been able to return to the parks as of July. Um, I think it's awesome. Our family has decided to just stay in and, and figure things out before we go. So we decided that we would register for the 2021 Princess Marathon 5K. So I'm super excited about that. Um, we're going to go a couple of days before the race and then we'll probably stay a couple of days after the race, which I'm pumped to see how they're going to do it because in the past couple of months, they of course have canceled marathons for everyone's safety. So I'm, you know, hoping for extra pixie dust that we'll be able to actually participate in the marathon that weekend. My children are going to do it. Um, I'm not a racer, but I just thought it would be a great way to kick off 2021 and our post COVID adventures at Walt Disney World. So I'm going to share with you what our plans are for that weekend. So what we're doing is we will be driving down. Now we're in Alabama, so we're about a seven to eight hour drive. So it can be a little taxing for us. So that's one reason why we're staying those extra days in the front of the race so that we can be rested and ready and have had some time in the park before a little bit and then a little bit of time after the park to be able to drive home. So we will be driving and um, we decided to drive for safety precautions because we don't know if we're ready to fly. We are flyers. We always fly. We love having the full Disney experience being immersed as soon as we land or, um, at the Orlando International Airport, we hop off the plane, head downstairs to Disney's Magical Express check-in, get on that motor coach, and we are all in. And we just, I mean, and once we get to the resort, we are there. We typically don't leave um, unless we're going to run over to the outlets, which I love. There are two Disney warehouse locations in Orlando where they actually sell merchandise from Disney parks around the world. So not just from Orlando or from Disneyland out in Anaheim, but from all over the world. So you can find merchandise for Disney Cruise Line, Shanghai, any of those locations. Um, they will bring it to some of the, of the warehouses and sell it at a discounted price, which I love. So that's always a tip that I like to give is to go by the warehouse and get you some authentic merchandise um, that actually come from the Disney parks. So we'll be driving and we'll be leaving probably early early morning to get down there so that we can have a full day um the next day we'll rest we may even have a little time to spare to walk around the resort and kind of figure things out you know with the new precautions and all and if you haven't um checked out my website at disneyhomegirl.com you can go there and i did a COVID cheat sheet that kind of gives us a heads up on things that we need to know before we get to the parks when it comes to what Disney has done to keep us safe. We know we right now we've got to wear masks and that we've got to um, take precautions of being six feet apart. They've even done that in every attraction that's open where everyone is social distancing and those masks cannot come down until you are eating of some sort or back in your resort room or hotel room, wherever you're staying. We are gonna stay on property too for our marathon weekend, which I'm super duper excited about. We don't always stay on property when we visit Disney. We like to, of course, if we're flying in and ride Magical Express, we absolutely are staying on property. That's the only way to do it uh, with Magical Express. But we're gonna stay on property because we wanna make it easy for us to get to the race on the race morning. So I talked to my homegirl, Sally, who is also one of my Disney parks 
mom panelist classmates. She has a blog and a podcast as well um, called Finding Finish Line. So she is our super tough, athletic, um, inspirational. It's a lot of words to describe Sally. She has done all sorts of marathons and triathlons and i can't even name half of the half of the things that she's done but y'all find her at finding finish lines she's done so many disney marathons that i knew i had to reach out to her to see what we needed to do so we will be staying at pop century she's told us that we should decide on a resort that is close to epcot and that also doesn't have um a lot of bus stops so it makes it easy for us to get to epcot so it could even be one of the um boardwalk resort so like yacht club beach club um boardwalk in it could have been one of those because you know you could just walk over to epcot from the boardwalk and that would get you there but you'd have to walk through the parks um so that morning because you have to be there super early for the marathon you have to um will more than likely have to board a bus to get to the corral stations to start the race so then i decided well maybe we'll do pop century because we really love pop during our trip last october when we stayed there that was our last huge trip we also did get to squeeze in one trip to disney back in january of this year we went for a quick trip down on mlk weekend so we decided to um go back to pop the kids really love pop i love pop i'm actually going to do another video on why we love pop so much um that was our first time but i could see us staying there every time but, you know, for this particular trip, it's affordable. And currently, Disney promotions or special discounts haven't been released for 2021 yet. So I know that when they are released, we'll get even more of a discount, which is always happy. My pockets cheer when they hear discounts and savings. So once those discounts come out, we will apply those to our current reservation. So for this trip, we did do um, a package where we paid the $200 deposit and our balance will be due 30 days before we get there. So I also would like to try a dining plan. We aren't normally a dining plan family, so the only thing we added to this package were theme park tickets and our resort reservations for, like I said, Pop Century. And um, we've got, I believe, three days of park tickets for our trip coming up in February. One other thing that's new for Disney is that you have to reserve the days that you will be visiting the parks. In the past, park hopping was available. They're not even offering park hopping right now, which makes sense. They wanna be able to keep track of how many people are in the parks each day, which I know they were doing before. But now it's at low, lower capacity. So it may be around 50%, it could be even less capacity, but they want to make sure that they don't exceed those numbers and keep everybody safe so that we can socially distance. And if you don't know, many of the, um, events and festivities that happen at Disney aren't happening like no fireworks right now no parades right now but they're doing what we call cavalcades which I think is so cute where they'll have characters come in in cars and just kind of do a quick by you know drive by so we can at least see them and we'll have there'll be characters up maybe high on the castle kind of like um Olaf during when the castle, Cinderella castle will be lit for Christmas, he would kind of be up high. They have characters there. So, you know, Disney is doing their best to make the magic still happen. And But we have to understand that things are not what they used to be. And right now, until those things are better, I'm just thankful that they are able to give us a little bit of the magic or as much of the magic as they can by also keeping us safe. So that's important. Um, so with this park pass system, we have to indicate which park we will be in for what day. So like I said, we have three tickets, um, three park tickets per person, of course, that we will be going to the park. So right now we've decided on Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Epcot. I know we may have to try to squeeze an Animal Kingdom day in there, but, um, those are our top choices right now. Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, and Epcot. So we have selected, we've told Disney through our My Disney Experience account, which is how we also reserved our package with our $200, that we are gonna go to those parks on those particular days. 
So it's so important that now when you uh, plan your trip to Disney, you actually have to plan it. There's not going to be a whole lot of, um, oh, let's just plan a trip in the next couple of weeks and hope that fast passes are available. But guess what? There are no fast passes right now. They're gone. There's no need for them because there's not many people in the park. The wait times are super duper low. So the majority of people have said they're waiting up to 30 to 45 minutes for an attraction, um, which for attractions like, you know, Seven Dwarf Mine Train. And even I saw online the other day that there was a 10 minute wait at Peter Pan. Like what? That never happens ever <laughs> unless the park just opened or not even when it's about to close because somebody's always in that line. It's just one of those um, attractions that you have to ride. People love it. It's um, and it's a but it's a quick ride too. I mean, you would think that the line would go faster, but it doesn't. So ride lines right now are super low. So Fast Pass isn't available. And also, normally, you know, we could make dining reservations 180 days in advance. Now it's only 60. And only certain restaurants are open. Everything's not open yet. And they are really encouraging all guests to use the um, mobile ordering system if you're going to do um, quick service dining. They don't want, they want everything contactless. They don't want to want to touch money. They don't want to touch cards. They're doing an awesome, awesome, awesome job of keeping everyone healthy. You know, they're doing temperature checks when you go, um, when you walk up to enter the parks. So Disney is doing a lot to keep us safe and healthy. And today, today is September 1st. I noticed, or I saw, of course, not noticed, but I got an email because everything pops up for me with Disney that they have released fall 2020 packages and i am doing my best not to make an earlier reservation because both my daughter and i have december birthdays and christmas is our favorite holiday i'm so maybe wanting to squeeze in a quick trip down there for christmas like christmas is our absolute favorite time at disney it's, it's just beautiful like i can't explain to you how beautiful it is so I just wanted to hop in and give you all some um, an update and say hi and that I'm going to be recording videos more often. I want to be able to share my voice and give my tips on how we do Disney. And I hope that you all come along on this journey with us as we provide you all with our best suggestions and best tips for how my family does Disney. And, and we hope you enjoy the ride with us. Remember, you can follow me on social media, on Instagram at Your Disney Home Girl, as well as Facebook, Your Disney Home Girl. And two, if you have questions about a lot of the changes that have happened at Disney, I did a really, really fun video with David from Beyond the Kingdoms, where we had an absolute blast answering some fan questions about how they could prepare for Disney during COVID and a lot of the changes that have happened. So please take a look and go over to his YouTube channel at uh, Beyond the Kingdoms. And I'll actually provide a link for you so that you can get to it quickly down um, in the description. But please follow me on social media, Instagram and Facebook at Your Disney Home Girl. And then on Twitter, I am your, as in you are, Disney D-S-N-Y Home Girl spelled all the way out. So you can find me on Twitter too. And then of course here on YouTube. So thanks for coming along with us. I'm going to go into more depth about some of the details that we have with our upcoming trip. And if we decide to plan any other trips in the near future. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and all the magic you can dream of.